Welcome to my Cisco's Routing and Switching Essentials Lab Review. We are doing Lab 6434, Configuring a Floating Static Route. So this is when you want to have two paths out, maybe two different ISPs. And we want to be able to use a static route, but how do we know which one we want to take as a primary or secondary? So we can do this via floating routes. So we're going to be looking at part one first. So let's go ahead and hop, hop on our edge router. Get into our configuration mode. So we want to be a primary route, IP route. We want everything to go out with every subnet. And we're going to send it out serial zero, zero, zero. So that means everything is going to go out that connection. Let's go ahead and let's view our routes. Show IP route. And here's our static route. But the question becomes, what happens if our primary route goes down? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a trace route from PCA to the web server. Command prompt, trace our team to our web server. Notice the route it t uh, takes, it leaves serial 000, which I mean, that may be good. But what happens when we have a second ISP? What happens when we have a second path to take? So we're going to configure a, an additional route. So step two, what's the administrative distance of a static route? Zero for directly attached, and one for recursive. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop back on our edge router get back to our config mode. We want to do another static route. Again, any IP with any subnets, we want it to flow out serial one. We're gonna do space and we're gonna give it a weight of five. Basically the first one was a weight of zero and this is a rate of five. Let's do a show run. So I don't want to keep backing out. So I'm going to do a do show run. That will let me do a show run from this level. Here we have our two IP routes. Our normal route with a normal weight and our secondary route with a weight of five. So why when we do a show IP route, will this not show up? That's because the secondary route is not displayed. Only the primary routes are. So we've done that. Now let's go ahead and let's test the failover. Int serial zero zero zero. You know what? what I want to do. I want to do a ping. Apparently, it does not like additional switches. Okay, let's do a hyphen in. We'll do 100 ping. So I'm going to be turning off our primary exit. No shut. Sorry. Shut. <laughs> Uh, 
So I kept trying to send everything out zero 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 zero. The router will eventually pick back up and send everything out its serial zero zero one interface. Okay, let's go ahead and stop it. Let's rerun it. Okay, apparently Packet Tracer just does not want to have it picked back up. Let's redo our trace route. And notice our trace route from now. That's what it was before. It should pick back up. <laughs> oh, it does help if I'm doing the right address. Trace RT 198010. I hope this if I read the diagram. We're pinging our web server. I want to go ahead and ping the same web server with a count of 100. I want to turn back on the main interface. It should time out because it should be taking a new route. It should now start taking through ISP1. Now, if that's true, let's move to serial one interface. Let's shut it down. Because this is already back on serial zero zero interface. Us turning down serial zero zero one does nothing. Let's do a new shut, turn it back on. And we've answered every question for this lab. I want to thank you.